the future for Pokemon Gen 9 is soon upon us. What's going on guys? My name is Dippy Pearly and welcome back to another Pokemon discussion video guys. And today I'm going to be discussing to you guys the future of Pokemon Gen 9. Derpy, <laughs> what are you doing? It's so early for this. Why are you talking about Gen 9? They didn't even release the remakes. They didn't even release Arceus. Well, let's get into this, shall we? My thoughts on Pokemon Gen 9 are going to be formulated by saying this. The way that they've been handling the past few gens have been pretty, pretty mid, I, if I do say so myself. And as of right now, I don't have that much hope for Pokemon Diamond and Pearl and Shining remakes, simply because they are just remakes. We are not about to get anything really different unless they give us something new with Giratina. <laughs> And the only thing that I want to say about Legends of Arceus is that it's going to be an entire game-changing playing field for the entire company. What they're doing for that game is going to be outstanding. And I want everyone to know that this is what their new plans are for the new gen, for Gen 9 for Pokemon. And I want to say that it's awesome and I love the direction where it's going. Pokemon, an open world Pokemon game is superb, okay? It is simply amazing. I love the idea of being able to run around, ride other Pokemon and everything while even going into different worlds or battling just different Pokemon or even tagging along with friends. Even if they add that feature in, we're, we're able to go online and have our friends tag along us in a journey. Now, mind you, that would never happen because it's a story-based game. Come on, guys. Even even I can dream though, you know, but an open world based Pokemon game would be amazing and it's going to be mind changing considering we're already getting Legends of Arceus, but now that we're going to be getting a new gen that's going to be open world, that would make everyone flip out. But not only that, I want to see a lot of different things like I want to see Pokemon fusing together, all right? I'm not talking about Necrozma and Solgaleo like, like any of that. No, I'm talking about Trainer and Pokemon. And no, Derpy, you're talking about Battle Bond. I'm not actually fusing together where your mind and body and soul becomes one with your Pokemon, where you both fuse and become intertwined with together. Now that's something that I would spend $60 on right then and there, because I want to see how that transformation looks. It might look pretty cool. It might look cool. Not only that, the battle mechanics are definitely going to change. I know that much for a fact. And about this open world game, I would love for it to be a turn-based game as well, where we would get one person getting to fight and then another person getting to fight. And no, I'm not talking about the Derpy, that's just a rotation battle. What are you talking about? Remember Final Fantasy? Remember how they had that turn-based game style as well? Yeah, let's get something like that, okay? I'm trying to see something like that where the trainer comes in, all right, I'll handle this. And then the other trainer, as soon as they see that the other typing isn't the right one, they're like, back out, I'll handle this. Something like that. That would be pretty cool. That would be pretty cool. I'm not going to hold you. I'm not going to hold you. But, again, these are very, very hard things to do. Especially with limited time that these companies have to develop a game. They're, we're not going to get everything that we always want. And that's the thing that I want to say in this video. Even though that Gen 9 is definitely a upon us, it's going to be s soon around the corner. We're not going to get everything that we always ask for. And that's the thing that people need to realize about these Pokemon games and about the Pokemon anime and stuff as well. Is that we will not always get what we want. But the fact of the matter is, they are always watching and listening to what we are saying. They take in our opinions and they have to consider well this is a good idea can we do this do we have enough time and if we don't have enough time then we'll just make this bonus dlc content then okay boom but that's not always the case as well my thing is i want to see gen 9 do something more outstanding than all the rest of the gens i want them to make everyone else say damn i i i didn't see that coming i i didn't see it coming what a twist I want to see stuff where we're able to see other past players. And by what I mean by past players, I mean the past protagonists from each other games. Like where we see red, gold, 
or Ethan if you want to call him, May or Haruka, whichever one, again, you want to call them. I want to see all of them come to each different spot in our region to where we can battle them all. But all of them are clearly champions because we've all played as them. They're all clearly champions. But not only that, I would also like to see some of the gym leaders from all other regions come through and be like, you know what? This is a cool region. I'm doing studies about a new phenomenon that's been showing up here. And it's been flowing out through from this region into all the other regions as well. That would be something pretty cool. A new phenomenon that's flowing out of a region causing massive mayhem onto other regions like Kanto, Sinnoh, Hoenn. That would be amazing. I would love to see something like that. But again, this would make cost time. And like I said, Pokemon likes to rush because they have they don't have a limited time they have a limited time schedule where they're just sitting there twiddling their thumbs saying okay this looks good all right next this looks good next i want them to actually take their time with this because legends of arceus is definitely going to sell pretty well it's going to sell at least at least over a million copies i know that much i know that much because the amount of people talking about it is outstanding and that's the thing that i love is that the love for this game will never die out and that's what I hope for Gen 9. I hope that the love for Gen 9 will not die out. I hope that they have new, these new things added in so that way people can talk about this for generations to come, for the next gens to come, where everyone would be like, yo, this is what you guys should really put in. And they're like, okay, okay, let's do it. But again, these are just my thoughts. These are just what I be thinking. And you know what? Sometimes I get a little crazy, but... As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you guys did, slam that like button for you, boy. It's very much appreciated, and as always, I hope you guys had an awesome day. Be sure to check out all my previous videos, and be sure to grab yourself some Kool-Aid and some cookies to the right over there, and I'll be sure to catch all you cool derps and derpets in the next video, guys. This is Derby Pearly signing off. P -p 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 Peace.